Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where we're taking a look right now at the uh, the brand new line that we set up last episode which delivers the ore and the coal straight to this beautiful uh, steel plant over here which is eventually going to uh, filter the steel over to the west coast of the United States to kind of get some machines all up and running. Now in the last episode we kind of briefly talked about how I want to switch up how these two steel plants here uh, distribute their goods currently this steel plant right now feeds this machine factory i want this to feed this machine factory eventually and then for this one here to take over and feed that one so the machine factory over on the east coast supplies the east coast the machine factory uh in the middle here supplies the middle of the united states and then eventually uh, the machine factory on the west coast supplies the west coast that's where i want to get set up and running but it's going to take a lot of work but in doing that i'd also be able to kind of conquer or kill two birds with one stone and get a few more things set up today so what i want to do today is we've got this little beautiful crisscross which we started to build on over here as well we got the the beginnings of a beautiful one just there i want to replicate another one just here literally a few meters <laughs> up the road from the previous one that's going to enable me to have access to chicago one for passengers two for the food plant and the steel which is really important to do so and then we're going to try and set up a public service line from chicago to detroit to toronto to montreal so that's going to be able me to do this to get down to here build the crisscross so i can then supply the iron ore and the coal also to over here and bring it out to the machine plant and hopefully switch the lines over that's the plan how well is it going to work uh, i don't know just yet we're, we're gonna kind of figure all this out right now <laughs> but guys welcome back if you are enjoying the series so far then make sure you smash that like button down below and if you are new on here make sure you do subscribe so you get no fun what so do come out so by that having that crisscross in there it enables me to kind of use the cargo routes but also connect up chicago so i can create that route what i'll then eventually do is have a separate route that goes from chicago to detroit to pittsburgh might even stop people from washington i feeling fancy probably not probably not but that route will go from pittsburgh detroit to chicago then up to minneapolis then we'll have a separate route that goes from detroit down to nashville into new orleans to houston which will eventually connect up to the route that's going to go through atlanta from charlotte i know it's a lot to take in but trust me i've got the plans in the back of my head i've just got to try and implement them so Fast forward a moment there, make sure there's no... I, I gotta make sure there's no trains in this whole little section here before I destroy it and then completely rebuild it. So we're gonna have to kind of give it a memento. Which is quite... More, it's a lot more difficult than you expect because of the amount of trains we've got knocking about right now. Well, while we wait for that then, is there any way in which we can kind of figure out how we're gonna approach this? Now, what I've gotta make sure I do is place the train station down that also accesses not only the food plant, but also Chicago and the steel plant. This in itself is going to be quite difficult to do. So we're going to try and place it around here somewhere. Actually, I'm going to have to pause it right now to do some destruction. So delete. Uh, now, if I delete you, delete you, I'm so sorry, but you've all got to go. You've all got to go. Don't worry. Chicago will have a little, a little bit of a boom when I'm finished with it. So if I just go to here with this... I'm going to delete you, you, delete all this road, because I need the whole place to grow in like an orderly, orderly fashion, is the best way to put it. Uh, okay, so we're going to go to the roads then, we'll go to this medium street, and we'll put a little bit of a bend on, so as it bends around to connect to here, very good, very good. Uh, we'll then go on the straight tour, run this down the side here, so it kind of connects to the side of the building, that's important. And then run this straight in just there. Hopefully I can build the train line here, which will touch that. And then we have to extend this road for this to connect as well. This is the fun of trying to build this kind of uh, jibber jammer right now. So if I go for a, uh, a side cargo station, go for the long platform, high speed, country, yes. Uh, rotate this right round. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build it. So how far back can I push it? I can actually push it quite far back and it'll still connect. So with that said, if I built it about... Because that's where the... Uh, we might have to do a bus route for the uh, the passengers' lines of it. 
But then again, I just have to push it a bit more forward. Right, how far can I go before we no longer technically touch in? There we go. So that's the far that's the furthest I can kind of take it right now. Just there where it touches the steel plant. So I place that in. It technically doesn't really touch the the, uh, the the passenger section, but then again, it's not really set up for passenger at the moment. So let me just reconfigure this real quickly. Right, delete half of this platform. Uh, there we go. Platform wise, get the passenger platform now down, and also a passenger building. Now the passenger building, I'm going to try and push it as far down here as I can. The further I do, the closer it is to the pedestrian section. And that's what's important for us. And then the tracks then, we're going to push this all the way over. So we need four in total. There we go. Keep this momentum going. Glorious. And then platforms, we'll keep the pedestrian on this side. Because it's the, it's the closest side to where the actual people live. Get that all in there. I've kind of just slightly messed up, but delete you. There we go. And then the passenger buildings. I'll do a slightly larger one on this side. I'll explain why in just a moment. We'll go for a slightly larger cargo building here. All reason being is, it then means the road that I have to build is more closely going to be placed towards this food plant. So it enables the connection a little bit easier as well. <laughs> Right, okay, so if I then get this cutting straight across, like that, we then should be able to run, okay, maybe not so much, but run you down to here. So the edges connect like that. Uh, just kind of confirm. If I run that into there, fingers crossed, if I select this uh, train station, it now connects not only to the city, a little bit of the residential, but hopefully as more people come in, the residential starts to build around in different places. But the steel plant and the food plant, that's the important part for it. So I don't really mind too much about anything else. It's all good. Right, there's currently no trains on this at the moment. So we're now going to delete all of this. So it's going to cause a few issues at the minute. But trust me, we'll get it all finalized and sorted out and it'll be absolutely glorious. It will be a so oh my goodness me! It will be a sight to behold. Infrastructure at its finest. Infrastructure at its finest, boys. Right <laughs> uh, to the tracks then. So what we first got to uh, achieve is is, is a crisscross going straight over. Now normally, as I built these and the other one as well, I've kind of made one of them go underneath. I don't know whether to make this one be a little bit different and kind of treat it as uh, a little bit of an overpass. You know, it's something a little bit different. I feel like I'm going to delete back to there just a minute. And then if I bring this one out. So keeping it in a straight line. Yeah, that should give us loads of space. We're then going to raise it up to the point where it starts to bridge. All right, where's the snap is just there. So it bridges up and over. And it stays snapping as we then bring it down. Keep it nice and simple. Now, which side is this on? This is on the right hand side. So then all I gotta do is run this directly into the center bit. Standard as it can pretty much be in reality, isn't it? Now, for some reason, it's kind of carving quite heavily into the landscape. Now that is going to be because of many things. The land is slightly bumped. I actually don't know why he's doing that. It doesn't need to. But if I just go to there and then extend this. Do you know what? I feel like it might need to. Interesting. Right, let's connect this all the way out. So we'll bring it just to here. Up and over. And there we go. A little bit different then. So we've got a bridge this time. So I think it'll be quite nice to kind of see the actual uh, elevation changes and watching the trains go over rather than just going under a simple tunnel. Uh, we'll sort out the terraforming a little bit in, in just a moment because we've got a lot more stuff that we need to do. So I reckon we make these ones here the shorter turn. Actually, let me delete all these signals on here. 
So the shorter turns will make will do first, and then the longer turns on the wider bits uh, is probably what we'll then set up. So shorter turn. So short there, and long sweep in there. Long sweep in here, shorter turn there. Yes, that should work out. That should work out. So if I start here, and then try and snap this round to about there. So 75 should be a good-ish number. Oh no, I need to place it a bit further back. So I don't mind the speed having to reduce so slight, ever so slightly. For the sake of, I give myself a bit more room to then bend over to that direction. So that goes in just there. We then run this with it. So the speed is going to have to reduce, unfortunately. But in the long run, this works out. So that is then all placed in. I've then got to replicate it over here. So we'll go just here to here how does that look there because i've also got to be careful about how i'm going to run a train station through here and how that snaps into there i've got to be careful about where it's then going to bend so maybe i take this to this side how does that look for the the bend that actually works pretty well well bam so that's now in Tight squeeze, don't get me wrong, it is a very, very tight squeeze, but we kind of have to. We, 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 we're squeezing this in when we didn't think we were going to actually build one of these little systems, but I reckon that's not too shabby. I don't think that's too bad in reality. So now then, we've got to do the ones in the opposite direction. Now, I could pull these from a lot further away. Uh, so if that's happening there, if I choose here, and then... Ooh. That's asking for way too much, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit ridiculous. So I might have to run this down a bit further, to be honest with you. So if I came out here with this, and then did the exact same thing just there, because the way it's kind of been placed in, could I then get it to connect in? Well, let me get in a bit further. So, I can push it up to here, which gives me a little bit of space there for the signals. How, or should I push it a bit further in? Well, let me cancel that there. What if I came out from this way? Construction not possible. Is it because there's a train already currently on it, maybe? What seems to be the issue? Well, if I go from there, so I can come out from there. Which is not a problem. So these ones are a little bit funky. But I don't suppose I've got much... To be honest, you're looking at it right now. Maybe It's it's because of how, how long extended the bridge is that kind of throws us off as well. But it will still do the same job. Okay, It will still do the same job. So I don't think we need to worry too much. I've just now got to get this to snap in there, which is fine. Bit of space there for the signals. That does what I need it to do. It's not uh, the most prettiest, <laughs> but it should do what I need it to do. Right, if I bring this off here, and on this side, do the exact same again. And then over here, we'll treat it from about there. So you snap in there. It does run quite close. So what if I cancelled that idea? And then... I bring it out here like that like that and we just go for a nice little wiggle to pass us in this is actually quite big thinking about it it's a lot bigger than I expected it to actually be but I think that's mainly down to the fact that I've gone for this huge overpass I don't like this <laughs> I honestly don't like how this has kind of come across right now. Alright, there we go. Delete all of you. And then... 
if I brought that to there, that probably works out a lot better. Okay, it's not as ridiculous. It still looks ridiculous. It still looks ridiculous, but it's not as ridiculous right now. Right, before you moan at me in the comment section, right, just, just you know, just... Right, I'm cooking right now, okay, guys? I'm cooking. <laughs> I'm cooking. Something's happening. Something's happening. So let me just now sort the terrain in all out. Because at some parts there, it's a bit elevated, and at some parts it does sink down ever so slightly. Especially around the bridges. So I think what makes this look a little bit more ugly as well is the fact that we do have a bridge. Normally you wouldn't see it, so it's like less train tracks you're visually looking at. Because you wouldn't have that one that goes straight over. So you kind of get this nice little beautiful design. But we don't get that with this one. We don't get it with this one. Um, right, so let me just quickly throw in the signals. Because this is going to be quite important right now. So just before this bend, bam, bam. And then just after, bam, bam. Here, bam, bam. Here, bam, bam. Bam, bam. There we go. So the same all here then. Bam, 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 bam. Wham, bam, wham, bam. There we go. Uh, there's a lot to throw in. I'm just kind of going over the top slightly. Oh, I don't think I need to place the one here. Yeah, I don't need to do that one. So I need to delete it on the other two sides. Because that will cause a bit of issues. Because if they stop there and there's one coming across and it wants to go straight on, it's kind of completely messed all up. So let me just delete them, the ones on the, these two that I just kind of placed in. So as of right now then, my issues have now seemed to have disappeared with the lanes for the uh, trains. So back into play mode then. We should be okay. I mean, it's a little bit of a configuration that I've got to go through, but we should be A-OK. -okay. And then we've got this additional crisscross. As crazy as it looks, this interchange, I've got it in. Leave me alone. I like it, okay? My mum said it looks beautiful and that's all that matters. <laughs> it's maybe... Oh, do you know what? It's this bit. All right. All right, delete all this. It's just that bit there, so tracks. So that actually connects in differently. That's a lot smoother. I don't know what happened there, but that's definitely a lot smoother. All right, there we go. Leave it as that, because you, you, you could get too obsessed with it. So that gives me the ability to connect into Chicago. Absolutely wonderful. And, ooh, new vehicles. Nice. Also, did you guys see the new updates of this game? I bought the Duelux Edition as well. I don't really know what you get in it. I bought it and then just loaded the game up and didn't really check it out. <laughs> but things do run a lot smoothly anyway. Uh, right, okay. So, what I should now do is switch over the production from over here to over there to bring this to steel. It's going to be a, a, quite a long process. But I've kind of got to switch it over to render this one a little bit useless. But then it all, it changes a lot of things, though. It really does. Because at the minute, these guys bring the steel on the same train as the planks. Meaning I'm going to need a separate train to do that. Which, again, is not a problem. But I could set up a, a standard back and forth route. But then again, the, the ones that bring... No, I can do a separate one. Because the one that brings... The, the both of them will only start then bringing planks wow this is a lot more work than you kind of originally thought it was going to be it really is right to do that anyway then we've got to set these lines up over here so we'll bring them in there we go there we go do the old crisscross There we go. And then signal-wise, it's here and here. And that's all I've pretty much got to do. Maybe here and here as well for the bypass. Very good, sir. Very good. Okay, they've really changed the game right now, haven't they? They've really changed a lot of it. Damn. 
So we're looking at now the coal to Pittsburgh route. So we have two sets of coal here. And this is what we're going to bring. Rather than to the Pittsburgh one over here, we're going to bring it to the, the, uh, the Chicago one. So let's pause the game at a station. So Charlotte, instead of to Pittsburgh, uh, we take it to Char lower, Sh lower Chicago is where we take it, where it's then going to simply unload the coal. That's all that's going to do. This exact same one. I'll get rid of the Pittsburgh. So Washington DC exchange. Yeah. This is then going to unload the coal. And then we need the ore routes. Where's the, the ore? Here. So this one, exact same again. Add the station. Rather than going to uh, Pittsburgh here, because it goes all the way up there for that stuff. We'll delete the Pittsburgh one, because there it loads it, and then here it's going to simply unload the ore. And I've got to then rename it to Pit from Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh, delete, uh, add station, <clears throat> just there. Which it then simply unloads the ore. Very good. So that should do it no problems. There might be a few little issues because they're stuck going a certain way. But that should be all it needs to do. It'll be a lot quicker for these because before they go around here than all the way in. Now it's just bam, 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 done. That distance there is shorter than this distance all the way there. So let me just rename this now to Chicago. Uh, if I can even spout. Uh, she. Chic. Ago. Chic ago. Right, let me see if I can just copy that. It'll be easy to copy and paste it. All right. Paste. Boom. And then we got to do the these ones here, don't we? Oh, I should have renamed the other one. Chicago 2. Because I will eventually have to get these back in again. These exact same routes. But that's not until I start working with that other side. So right now, then, we've completely killed off our whole machine business because we don't have um, the route picking up the steel to take it back over to there. Let me just change this to number two while we're waiting. There we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So now before then, all the goods went into here. This train here, which is... I'm going to have to turn it around. Just go back. So all the goods came to here. This produced the steel... And then the train that drops the wood off picks both up the wood and the steel and then takes it over to there. But now we don't have the ability to do that. So now we've got to create a whole new route. So Oh, this is this is This is really weird seeing that the road is now black. So it all goes into that one side, which is perfect. We are then gonna set up a new line that goes from here directly to over here. Very good, very good, very good. Which will actually make it switch the station. Mm, no, we'll keep on that one. Because that's where it needs to be. So in Lower Chicago, <clears throat> all it's going to do is pick up the steel. Then here, all it's going to do is then unload the steel. That's what it's going to do. So we need to get that train now. So buy vehicles. We're going to stick to diesel for the, uh, for the time being. And this is the one that I'm going to have to get because it's 75 miles an hour. I will switch it all over to electric at some point. And we need the one that carries the steel. So we'll then add a bunch of these for 180 capacity. By you. And then pull it on that new route here. Line 7. So that will get it all back up and running right now. It will take some time. <clears throat> because... This needs the shipment coming in. It needs everything all dropping off. And it completely changes the whole demands. So where these would have been producing so freaking much coal coming out of it. Now I've completely killed it all off. So I have to kind of wait for it to build itself back up again. Uh, I don't think there's any trains currently waiting, is there? There is this one here. Oh my goodness me. So I can't really do much about that. I've got to send it that way. Oh no. The whole thing's all messed up now, isn't it? 
the whole thing's all messed up right now. So if I send you back first, which I can't do because that's there. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, first things first, we send you. I can't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right, just for the sake of this. Oh no, guys. This is not good. <laughs> right, I don't want to really want to get rid of a train. But I don't all at the same time I also don't think this is the answer. Right, that's got to go that way. Right. Give it a moment, because the whole thing's all now bugged out. <clears throat> but they should now push all these trains through. So that's going to go out. This will then move next. Which should then hopefully then make this move. Right, we should then all be updated. There shouldn't be any issues. Everyone should do their job at this point. There we go. Okay, that was crisis averted. Does mean there's, uh, there's now technically less trains going into here for the the, the the most part. But see what happens anyway. See what happens. So this is all working. This should do exactly what we need to do at this point. Obviously, trains have to wait their turn. You know, it is going to start getting super busy around these areas. Which is why we then need to start thinking about ways in which we can bulk up some stations to maybe get like an extra third line in or something like that. But eventually they'll all be nicely spaced out, so we shouldn't have too many issues. Uh, moving forward anyway. So they should all do their thing. They'll all get the steel. This will, you know, this will hopefully start producing at some point once he's got some ore delivered. Uh, that's a coal one. That is a coal one. Coming in with more coal. And this here is the machine one. So the ones with uh, ore then are now only just going back to kind of get the ore. So it will take some time to get all that delivered. Okay. Wonderful. We'll leave it as that for now. We'll leave it as that for now. Uh, so that will start giving it over to here. We then need to think about how we're going to get the goods from over there up to here. So it's a case of waiting until this one's all fully set back up. And then once it's overfilling the station, the platforms with the, the goods, we'll then set these up as well to have an additional train go over to there. But in the meantime, let's build the passenger line from Montreal all the way down to Chicago. So this is going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of destruction, but it should also be a lot of fun as well. So we'll start in Montreal. And I don't believe there's going to be another route anywhere else. So it's literally going to be an end, end station, end platform. Right? So I could get rid of this road. Just for now. Watch so it doesn't stick out and kind of get me. And then end terminus. Now it doesn't need to be super long. It could be 160. But if I added in the end terminus just there, boys. Uh, oh, yeah, we're doing end terminus and we'll do, we'll do side stations for it. So up here, do you reckon? It's got all the stuff that I kind of need. Right, I'm going to place it there. Okay. We then need to edit it. So we need to do a couple of configurations right now. First things first. We'll only do one cargo platform. And we'll also only set up two tracks. Cargo platform either side because you just, you just never know. You just never know. And then we'll set up the platforms like this. And then passenger buildings. We've got to go nice and big so they connect either side. So we'll do this one there, and I'll do this one just like that. Uh, cargo, nice and small, there and there. 
Keep it simple, keep it beautiful. Right, there we go. So if I delete that road, and then we'll add in a brand new road that connects to the both of them, like that. And hoping I can get this to connect to both of these, which it does. Very nice. Get you to run down to here for a connection. And now all of a sudden, it's a side platform as well as an end station platform as well. Funky, I know, but should do the job. So it's going to run down and it's going to utilize the, which we don't have set up at the minute, the bypass route here. So we're just going to quickly, is there a train on the way? No. Quickly pause this for a minute to delete that. To extend the train track, which is not high speed at the moment. Uh, there. So here we have the bypass route and a secondary bit of station. We don't have one here. So we, we've got to kind of create or change it up ever so slightly. So delete you, delete you. And I'm going to delete this back to the bend. Because it needs to bypass it. Where this is the main line. And then this just kind of comes out and then connects in. And then we do the crisscross. So set up some signals then. So just before. And then just after. So we'll get this all connected now. So track. Uh, there we go. From there. Into here. Now. We'll keep it as a tunnel. Because seeing the elevation of it right there. And the change and stuff like that. We'll keep it as a tunnel just like that. We'll push this all the way through. So, oh, oh, it always messed up then. Uh, just to there. So we then need to create the crisscross after. There's no need for the wood to go this way. So I don't need to connect that in. But I will apply the crisscross by default anyway. Don't really need it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Crisscross here on the ground. There we go. Drop in the SIGs. It's not really needed like crisscross, but it's it's there anyway. And that does what I need to do. So it bypasses the wood, which will also bypass this wood. But here in reality, right, I've got to make it kind of turn off. So I might make it turn off there to run through Toronto to connect back on to then run through Detroit. It's going to be quite fun to do all this destruction. So we're all going to, need to run along this side here. So I'll delete this road here and this road. And this will just be a normal side platform. We'll go for this one with the passenger. We'll do we make it nice and long. I mean, the longer you make it, the more I mean, the more passengers you can fit on, obviously. But the the harder it becomes to build the city on the other side. But looking at this city right now, I don't think we need that ability. So if I just kind of come at a slight angle, like here. This is going to be beautiful. Right, configure. So we're going to delete a part of it. And by a part of it, I'll only delete these last two platforms. So track-wise. Now what's going to be interesting is we might see the cargo trains for the wood industry go through here. Because all of a sudden this might become the shorter route for them. That's going to be interesting. I don't know how I feel about that now, thinking about it. Completely messed up that platform there. And again, the reason we get the cargo in is because obviously we need goods to be delivered to these cities. So platforms, passenger. All in, miscellaneous, the little bit that goes underneath. Uh, good stuff. And then cargo buildings. What could I squeeze in? Yeah, you're fine. We'll go this one, this side. Passenger buildings. That's a little bit too big. We'll go with a couple of these here. Create a nice little platformed area. Uh, actually, I'm going to delete this one. And then we'll go for the smaller style. 
So we should be able to run a road going across. I don't know what's going to happen with this road. But I'm able to run a road none the least. There we go. So this is going to be fun. <clears throat> this is going to be fun. So yeah, for them... Can we, I mean, this one won't do it because it's got to go through there. But this one, this this train here might skadoodle through, through here as a shorter run. But that one's got to use it anyway. Interesting. I also have to upgrade the uh, the train tracks too. So let's get back to here. Train tracks. And we'll get this. So we'll first make it come out as normal. Because that's where we apply the Christian Crossing connections. So if I go here to here. And then here to here. Then all I gotta do is just drop a signal on. The signal's already there anyway. And that's pretty much it. Track connection here. Right, if I go to there. And then that's how we do the little diversion for the passenger route. So obviously that connects into here, that into there. Do the old crisscross. Uh, replicate it just here. It's a little bit more of a tighter squeeze. But we'll do the job. Signals. So you'd have them one there, one there. And then just after the crisscross. And then we'll place uh, one just here. And I'll do a, one in the middle just there as well. So that allows me then to utilize the same line to a certain extent. But then the passenger line can take a slight little detour. Now I have a feeling this cargo line is going to run through here because this will be the this will be the longer route for it in reality. And then we do the exact same thing here for Detroit to, to kind of bypass through. Now Detroit, we've got to destroy a lot more than you think. All that's got to go, and I've got to replicate pretty much the same train station. So we'll go we'll stick with passenger. Alright, spin this right round. So I'll place it here in the center. And then back to the configurations. We'll start with the track. So four tracks. It's quite a lot in reality, isn't it? One the place. Uh, um, platform nice and long anyway because you want to get lots of passengers on there at the same time oh we didn't delete that platform there there we go platforms in for the cargo we then run the rest of it from passengers and then we just get the passenger buildings now in and then we will also get the cargo building in that will do just fine for us. And we will connect the cities via road both sides as well. They also can walk through the train station. So it's not like the end of the world. Um, but there we go. I'm, li I'm actually liking this. Again, the cargo would, would, would tear through here. Would free up this, this station a bit more. But, you know, there's, there's only so much you can do to kind of make this all work. So I'm going to bring this out again so far on the straight. Uh, for the merger and it will bend in like that and then for here this is going to be interesting so this is sticking to a straight format so there and I think we just have a nice little bend in I think that just keeps it nice and simple, doesn't it? I think that road's going to try and take 
pity on us and try and murder us. But let's connect you in. So once I've done this, I've done everything I need for the passenger route from Montreal to Chicago. Because it's all pretty much in. i just got to get that line all then set up. Which I don't know how much demand there is going to be. Plus, we don't have the ability to get this route connected to any of our other major routes. Because it's still kind of isolated. But it's the start of something beautiful anyway. So, bam, bam. All right, we'll do this one over here. Bam, bam. I've got to upgrade all this um, train line as well. It's a high speed and potentially electric. And I'll just do one there. I right, just get these in here while I can. So like I said, that's pretty much all in. Now it will change. It will change a lot of my routes. Some of them, it will only change it to be on one side. Because the, you can see here, the train only goes this way in, not back this way. It's quicker to tear through that way. But they've got to stop at that station going back. So, you know, we still kind of need them. It works for some, not for others. But it's all in. And without doing anything now, I put it back into play mode. And the trains will run as normal. But now all of a sudden, I've got these great connections to where I can create passenger lines. Uh, right. I won't upgrade the train tracks at this minute in time. But I will add a new line in. So the new line, which is going to be passengers, is going to go from Chicago to Detroit. Then all the way up to Toronto. And then pretty much stop in Montreal. It will then head back to Toronto. Back to Detroit. And then it will end up itself all the way back in Chicago. This is exciting, isn't it? This is real good. So... Let's take a quick look. In Chicago here, I've got all the platform, all the trains up on that one side. I might... I'll flip this onto the opposite side. Because, you know, it's, it's one less train going over there. And then through here, it should be on both platforms. Wait, hold on. It's not on both platforms. What's going on here? So Toronto here. Oh, this is Detroit. Then coming back through... Upper Detroit here should be on that platform. Why is that not doing it? I have the platform there set up. Oh, wait, hold on, 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 hold on. I'm doing it all wrong here. So Detroit here, yes, and then coming back it needs to be on that side. It's Toronto. I was just looking at. Well, an idiot. <laughs> Funny. Um, so Toronto on the way back is that side. It should have done that automatically, but then again, it's not really set up like that because the crisscross happens after the signals. So that space is all out just nice. Everything's all fine coming down here. Yeah, this should be all fine. So that passenger line is not connected to anything else at the moment. Uh, I'll probably set up a route that eventually bring them to the train station, which will also then be connected to Charlotte and kind of connect them all through. So that would be quite important. I don't know whether to kind of bring... Oh, do you know what I can actually do? The route that goes from Charlotte can stop off here, then also go straight into Chicago. Or I make it stop in Detroit, because we can have another system set up for Detroit that goes down somewhere else. Yeah. Or just have it stop in Chicago. Make Chicago a nice little hub. Uh, it's a tough one. Probably Detroit. Probably Detroit. So I'll set that route up now. So let me just find that route. So people... Um, what, it, what one is it then? It's looking like a brownish route. Is it this one? Yeah, Charlotte's the Pittsburgh North. So then we'll add another stop in then Chicago... No, Detroit. We'll do it as Detroit. To be honest with you, if I do it for Detroit, it's making it go for all of this. I can just make it Chicago. And it only has to kind of turn here. Hasn't got to then crisscross with other trains that are making this route slightly busy. So let's do that instead. 
and then go back to here and then we're okay so apparently it has an issue could not connect all the stations so it gets to pittsburgh here. oh i know why because i treat that as an end platform don't i that is correct let me change this to at this moment in time bright pink so i can see what's going down right without changing anything else right now i'm going to pause the game tracks so my passenger platforms are on the very end so i can bring this in just to there It's quite hard to do. I don't really... Do you know what? I ain't going to do it. We'll have a separate route that does it. So lower Chicago. We'll have a separate route that does it. So that in question there is the train that's now kind of slightly broken. We'll flip it back around. We'll have a separate road does it. I won't do it now. Because I feel like I want to configure it to do go other places first. But let me just get my passenger train all up and running anyway. So, still sticking to the diesel. I know, I know, I know. Um, passenger. Ooh. 33 can get on this one. We'll give it 132 capacity, which is still probably more than enough. And then we'll set it up on our brand new line, which should be line nine. So that's good stuff then. So we'll now have that route going back and forward, which is absolutely wonderful. This we're still waiting to do what it's got to do. Okay, I've got some issues. I need more signals. There we go. <laughs> a lot of chaos right now, isn't there? A lot of chaos. Maybe it's not the best idea to bring the passenger train into there from that one side. This is all part of the fun, isn't it? I'll just add a few extra signals here and there just to make it a little bit more maneuverable. But this is the this is all a, this is all part of the fun. I mean, probably eventually I can make these all come down this way, through here, just to alleviate the uh, the stress of what's going on. But I suppose this is what happens when all the trains come at once, right? This is what happens when you bring all the trains in at once. Maybe I should get the coal to also unload on the opposite platform. Hmm. Just going to attempt something right now. Just going to attempt something, guys. Just, just bear with me. Bear with me a second. Right, you can see where this is going now, can't you? So by having these lower outer stations, is the train as long? It might be. Right. So if I get the Chicago ore here, when it gets to lower Chicago, to number one, this one stays as it is. And then we'll get the coal to go on that side. And then coal two to go on to number three. So you see what I've done there? I've divided the four ore routes between these stations. 
I don't know how much that's going to change it. Well, it means we can then unload them simultaneously, thus bringing more trains down this route. <clears throat> and I could bulk off that to add another platform in if I wanted to. So that's interesting. Right, that there is the, uh, the coal there, which I'm assuming that one's going directly to this one here where that train just came from. Yeah. So that's why that one was waiting. That doesn't make 9.2 million. What? So look at the amount of people now waiting for the uh, the train. 84 people. Over here, there's quite a few. The train's coming back right now to pick a lot of people up. How busy is it? Oh, no, that's the, uh, the, the wood train. So where is that train? The passenger one? Ah, oh, it's here. Right, it hasn't quite turned a profit just yet, but it's going to drop a load of people off. 1.8 milli. And it's going to pick a load of people up now as well. 99 people on board. That's really good to see, isn't it? It's really good to see. So that works out well. I think that one's going down to this left side here. So is the tail back long enough that it doesn't kind of... Oh, it's it's close. That's just leveled up, by the way, as well. So hopefully we should get some... I mean, we should be back up and running now, right? I mean, it's it just needs more planks. Where's the planks, then? Okay, this is now just dropping off some wood. It will take some planks back. So it should completely fill up on planks. And we should get it to the top level again. But that's got a load of machines there waiting as well. Holy moly. We've we've definitely transformed this whole area. So we now have this, uh, this transport line all up and running. Uh, which is <coughs> glorious. Uh, we still have the machines coming in over to over here. Which is shipping them all about. But I now have the ability to start distributing the machines to all of these individual cities. Because we have the train routes connected to them. So they'll now start getting the machines, which will start growing it. We have the food over here, which we need to deliver to, which we then distribute, and then we'll start growing all the cities around here. Then we'll switch up these cities over here, getting the machines to this one. So we've got to build all that up. Damn. We're becoming quite efficient right now. But I'm quite happy with that brand new passenger line anyway. I like how it kind of tears off from some of these little routes. And I'm liking that we've now kind of made this station a little bit more efficient too with the dividing. If I have to push it further back, this line, to get the trains coming in, I, I will. But yeah, this is getting the goods. This We're making so much cash. Uh, finances chart that's the money we spent last episode yo but we're just getting highs of big caches being made that's now coming in picking up more of the beautiful steel yes please guys yes please so the vehicle, the train that is now distributed, is this the train distributing the uh, machines? Is it you? You're doing the food. Are you the, You're the machine train. 180 is not enough, is it? Apparently. That's crazy. But no, I'm not going to change it because that excess there will be what we use to distribute to the cities uh, around it. That's what we'll do. I know a lot of it is going to over here right now, which we'll still keep it to that. But we'll now start setting this all up to, for it to start delivering. Um, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So next episode, then, there's a few things that we can kind of look towards doing. Because I kind of want to finalize all this off before we move on to an area house. So we'll set up a route to get the machines from here delivered to each of these cities. Chicago, Detroit, uh, Pittsburgh, Toronto, and Montreal. Uh, eventually Nashville, but that's until we get the route down there set up. <clears throat> we 
We'll set up a new route that also takes into account uh, getting Pittsburgh connected to the pedestrian line, uh, passenger line, and also this airport here, crisscrossing. Uh, so it connects up to the major routes, crisscross, and the planes as well, which will be quite important. We also then need to transport the still from over here to up there, but I need to get this wood route also up and running to here. The steel route will run as well, so I can get this machine plant to deliver the machines to Boston, New York, Washington, uh, down to Charlotte, Savannah, uh, St. Petersburg, uh, and Miami. There's a lot of cities, but, you know, we'll do this quite nicely. We have a train that kind of goes back every so often, to and forth. But then again, not all the cities here on this side have machines, so that's something that we kind of got to remember. So now that Chicago's got the passenger line up and running, the charts are now spiking back up. Detroit starting to spike back up right now. Toronto charts starting to spike back up. Same with Montreal. So, yep, yeah, starting to spike back up. So they'll get what they need. We'll bring the food for Montreal from down here because it's quite close by. Everywhere else will come from this this section over here anyway. Which would be quite interesting. I might add a little station there. Bring the food from there into here. And then go down to... Oh, that's too far. We'll just utilize these, which is a quite uh, close by at the moment. But we're moving a lot of people right now. We're moving a lot of cargo. We're moving a lot of stuff. And that's what should make us so much more efficient than we've ever have been. Last year was the most money we've ever made in a single uh, memento. And the income was 219 million and this one's at 212 so that one's going to kind of take over before you know it that one truly is going to take over another big five milli coming in right there there we go 223 and our new year starts 223 we just had our best year to date keep bringing the goods keep bringing the goods boys so that's now all leveled up doing its maximum we still need more ore coming in. But I'm going to assume these need to start producing a bit more. Oh, no, they're producing loads, so it's probably just changing the trains ever so slightly. Uh, this is almost leveled up as well. It's just got to get the transport up, which will start distributing it to the other cities uh, next episode as well. So once that's sorted, once this is working, delivering to all these sides of the cities, that is then delivering to all that, we can kind of leave the East Coast for now because all the cities will be getting everything that they need. Then we can go back to the West Coast and figure out all of these runs and then link them together. Once that's done, we're then going to start taking a look at different types of cargo. Going back to the boats, looking at more planes, trying to grow the, uh, the Caribbean islands a bit, looking at the oil, all that kind of jazz. It's looking pretty sweet and I'm kind of excited. So if you are enjoying the series and can't wait to see the next episode, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new around here, then make sure you do subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Uh, bye.